things I've thought about during this election cycle is something Bishop Desmond Tutu said, an unbelievable leader in a very trying time. He said, if you're going to change the world, you've got to have a sense of humor. Well, the two candidates we've got today have about as much a sense of humor as a snail that got run over by a tractor trailer. I've had a number of people ask me who I'm going to vote for for president. I'm going to vote for... Teddy Roosevelt. Wait, I know what you're thinking. You're probably saying Teddy's dead. Even Robin Williams, who played Teddy Roosevelt, is dead. It's true, but I think we've got the technology. Here's what I think we do. I think we take 80% Teddy Roosevelt, 15% Martin Luther King Jr., and 5% Ruth Ginsburg, and we feed him into Big Blue. We get IBM to install a giant instance of Big Blue at the White House. I tell my kids about the Samurai Code, the Bushido. It's a series of precepts to live by, and I think that's a great way to judge a leader. Loyalty, politeness, honesty, we need a leader who can live up to that kind of code. We don't have one yet, but I think Big Blue can help us. Rekindle the Bull Moose Party. That's what I'm going to do. One of my favorite quotes and how I end every one of my speeches was Teddy Roosevelt. And he said, It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles, or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again, because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat.